This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by GoDaddy.com, NVIDIA, the national campaign against drunk driving, and the new Harmonica Hero for the blues brother in you. Now featuring track <laughs> Home on the Range. <laughs> Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I noticed this earlier. It's Southern, it's Southern California, and I have fruit. You put <laughs> zombie and you put ear in the title, and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Oh, that's right, Kevin. We're here in San Jose. We're here in San Jose. Thank yes. you to NVIDIA. <laughs> I gotta say, NVIDIA is kick ass for bringing us out here. Putting yeah. us up on an awesome stage like this. Dude, this is. Buying us beer. Buying us beer. Uh, having a nice couch in your Yes, we have uh, video card strippers coming out later. AKA Prager. They are wearing GPUs. Mm. Just kidding. What did you say, what? They were wearing GPUs, like the graphical processing. Come on, it's a video card joke, thank you. Who wouldn't want to see that? That's like a, that's like a, a, um, a Futurama joke or something. Thank okay. You. All right. I love that we're like, okay, let's go. No, we already <laughs> started the show. We've already started. Anyway, it's so much fun. <laughs> We're already having that was such Alex a having like, oh, Great times. Great times. Everybody was having a good time. We gave out two beers. That's right. We think there were 20. And we have uh, video cards to get out as well oh, from NVIDIA. Yeah. Yes. So that will be coming up a little bit later. But it's oh, fun. so obviously, and there were questions from the peanut gallery as well. Where's the Dell? New laptop. Don't have the Dell. Here's why. I went to uh, Dallas mm -hmm. to go to RobCon with TRS, right. my other show. And we'll take a couple of beers, baby. Love it, love it. And uh, they were playing the whole, uh, all the whole LAN party was played on these machines. And so they were here because they have Nvidia in them. And and they were like, well, here, just pop that on your lap. And I was like, oh yeah, check it out. So, and these are like the beefy Intel. These are the Centino beefy. Two yeah, bad they're, dogs. they're the Intel Centino two. They've got the uh, uh, GeForce, actually 9700 GTs. And we're gonna give it out to the audience. Yes. Can you oh, give away wait, the laptop? Yeah. What are you talking about? No, can we can get a quick Brad, can we do that? I don't know. That's a Ryan no. thing and he's running out of the door. Although, no, he's not. That's not. Wait, no, he said. Is that Glenn? He said yes. You we said yes? We can give this away to the audience? Oh, no. no. Yeah. yeah. This, right. like this? We tried, people. Yeah, means yes? I we don't tried. even know. We tried. We tried. All right. We're going to work on it later, maybe uh, in the next month. Yes. We lied. <laughs> All right. First story. Doubt, just lie. What? Sorry, story time. <laughs> oh, is it story time, It's time to read people's stories. All right. The first story comes from us from a faraway <laughs> land. Land of nuts and politics. Ah, uh, I don't know what that means. Okay, so the first story is, oh my god, I'm so excited for the story, by the way. And I love saying that before I read the story. Uh, <laughs> behind the scenes, lots of sex in the Olympic Village. Yes! I need this at home. This Dude. big screen. There's a reason why women's beach volleyball was one of the most watched events in the entire... Did they really show that shot? Like, yeah! In HD? And I Look, just... now here, let me, just, let me just say, for all those people that may be offended by this, this is actually a piece of information. Right. Okay? That... On one side, she is showing her partner whether she is going to block the angle or the line. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, she is saying that when the ball comes to her, she's going to set like it tight, <laughs> Sorry. or she would like it in the pooper. <laughs> Those are the symbols on the hands. That's horrible. And I'm not going to tell you what the one finger down means. Let's talk about this story for a second here. 2,056 people dug this story submitted by Maki Maki. Mm -hmm. When the Olymp when the when I was actually I was watching the Olympics opening ceremony with my girlfriend, right. <clears throat> and there were all these people coming by from all these different places, and the majority of them were smoking hot, and like young, hot, tip-top physical condition. And she goes, 
And I wonder how much sex happens in the Olympics. Like you're all these, you're like 20, 21. You're meeting freaking like all these other high top line athletes that are all knocked down gorgeous. You're all high on life because you're at the freaking Olympics. Right. And I go, well, probably not much. I mean, you got to do your, you your thing. You got to go do your, you know, shot putting or jumping or swim thinging. You know what I mean? Like you got stuff to do. And then I thought, well, but afterwards, I mean, what are you going to do? Well, here, this is literally a story, and it's a story written by a guy who was a, an athlete ah, in Barcelona. Interesting. And well, he was like, bro hams, we done had sex. <laughs> <laughs> his first thing was, his first line was, in Barcelona in 1992, I got laid more often in those two and a half weeks than I did in the rest of my life up to that point. Holy hell. And he said, Suffice it to say, that was twice. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, he went to Barcelona, got to, laid twice. Now, being laid twice in a, at a party with very attractive women, and he was like, look, I was a goofy kid who had buck teeth. I was like, I was not the pick, slim right. pickings. And he was like, I was nailing some crazy stuff. Uh, then he went back in, uh, not Barcelona, he went to Barcelona, and then he went to Sydney. Same thing. Lots of ladies. But this has got to be difficult. There's a language barrier going on here, right? There's a language optimism, baby. I walk up to, you know, a That's Jamaican true. high jump lady, and I'm like, hey, she's, wait, Jamaica speaks English. Right. Uh, I go up to <laughs> some sort of, you know, Russian, Ukrainian fucking balance beam Why chick. Why did we not go to the Olympics? Why did we not go to the goddamn Olympics? I know. Glenn is a huge fan of Jamaica. He would have <laughs> had a good time. <laughs> so this is interesting. I mean, how, you know, have you ever had one of those experiences where you go to like a world event, like the Olympics? No, I'm just kidding. Well, uh, have you ever had one of those experiences where you go like, I don't know, like camp or something, where it's just like all these new people you don't <laughs> know? I went to Boy Scout camp, but I, nah. I don't think that quite. Wrong kind of camp. Know. Hey, wrong kind of camp. I was a Boy Scout. It was anybody? Any other scouts out there? Thank you. It was embarrassing, but we did it, right? I was a tender foot. I didn't go very far. It was far. fun. My well, dad that, made me get an eagle. All right, we're going way off of the sex track and into some weird, like, no, made for sci-fi original movie. We always would try and find the Girl Scout camps, right? That's when you went to camp, you're like, where are the motherfucking Girl Scouts? So you went to the Camp Meatballs? <laughs> no. Dude, it was, there were never any Girl Scouts. That was the whole thing, but you were looking for them. Ah. So it's like going out and trying to find a chupacabra. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're not going to find one, but when you're drunk, it seems like a good idea. Exactly. Dude, I just saw the worst made for sci-fi movie. It was called Giant Komodo. Oh, there's a fan. Uh, did anybody see Giant Komodo? Like, who comes up with these ideas? All right, one person's just like, please give me three hours of my life back. Who comes up with these ideas? They're like, uh... What, Komodo dragons are creepy, and I was like, yeah, but they're like two feet, and they'll take off a pinky toe if you're, you know, at the worst. And I was like, what if it was a giant yeah. Komodo dragon? I was like, well, that doesn't make logical sense. Uh, radiation. Oh, well, yeah. So who's the dumbass that sat through three hours film to watch this giant Komodo? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> At what I learned point a lot like, about bioeconomics. So when the, when the commercial came on, we were like, oh, I gotta see what happens. I'm not sure. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. I was like, oh man, this is the worst. I guess I should stop. And then I went, ooh, I'm really thirsty. I should get a beer. And then by the time I came back in to change the channel, I was like, oh, Komodo dragon's on. <laughs> and I was like, it's a giant Komodo dragon. How did that happen? Can, can you have me another beer, speaking of beers? Who wants oh, a beer? Yeah. We have one beer. We, don't, who, we have wait, like wait, wait. four beers no, left. We have at least, who is eight or older? Is there eight any? or older. Eight or older. I'm, just, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, we can't do that. Danny Trend, no. Here's a beer to give out, and here's uh, one for yourself. Hippie wants it, give me one for Hippie too. Can you pop one for Hippie? Pop, pop one for Hippie. This is the stuff that when you watch this at home, you're like, hey, I can't, you guys uh, this walked guy off the scene, I can't see you. There we go, here we go, Hippie. That's for Hippie. Oh, don't! He's allowed to have a beer. He can't yeah. smoke indoors. I love it. Screw you, hippie! <laughs> I know. They were like, "Oh, so you're hippie raising got my one. taxes." <laughs> Get a job. Get a job, hippie. That's why uh, I don't have health care. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. 
All right. <sighs> Man, so, talk about a tangent. I feel like we haven't even started the show and we're on the first story. All right. So, sex in the Olympics. Awesome, right? So. Like, good for them. Good for everyone, them, Everyone, if you want to get laid, become a gymnast or something. That is the point of the story. It's a good story. This one is crazy. 7,025 digs submitted by Toe Cracker. 15 images you won't believe aren't photoshopped. That's the wrong story. Wrong Glenn. story. Glenn. Wrong story, Glenn. What are you doing? Glenn, wrong story. No. All right, that, well, do that story. Jump to that story. That is. Then we'll go back. That is what we talked about. No, right? no, jump to that story. <laughs> we'll let. <laughs> is, is he being protesting? Oh, okay, here we go. Does that look photoshopped? No. Wait, who said no? Oh. Oh. The only person who says no is somebody who goes no because I know you just told me they're not photoshopped. <laughs> There is a video. Uh, Hippie, do you have the video of that we can show? Yeah, there's a video underneath. <laughs> I love it. It's like Glenn is like, where was I? There was a was video I? directly underneath the picture. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's, it's all fine. good. Trust us in Let's this just one. watch it and giggle. Um, so, so the, what the, else we got? Uh, well, hold on. Maybe I can. No, I don't think no, we No, don't do oh, that. Oh, yep. No, stop that. Wait, but he can shoot it. No. Uh, it's gonna buffer. Stop it's, it. It's, okay, buffering. Okay, it's, it's buffering. buffering. It's buffering. Nobody, Nobody wants to see buffering. Wants to watch buffering. Show, the, a, show the buff dog. This is one I think is still bullshit. You gotta have the buff dog. Oh, sh there's the plane. Oh, I thought you were brewing coffee on your lap. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hippie, Give him hippie. a minute. <laughs> we talked about this, Hippie. <laughs> you remember how smooth you said it was gonna go, Hipster? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> that oh, is shit. That is fake. Jesus. That has to be fake. Holy hell. Now that, that has to be fake. They're saying that is not fake and that some guy. That is, dog has to be dead. Right? That dog's gonna like fart and explode. <laughs> I would almost, if there was a dog, a breed like that naturally, I would totally buy one. I mean, how badass would you be taking your dog well, to the park? first off, if that guy could breed the buff dog, you could make some money selling homebred buff dogs. <laughs> you could probably ride it like a horse. No, it's I, a, the dog's like this big, it's just jacked. It can support you, look at that. I, I, well, yeah, the 75 foot version, Jesus. <laughs> That's like the fucking Trojan buff dog. All right. That's the biggest goddamn screen I've ever seen. What are we doing? Why are we now, not watching Dark Knight? The Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Look at that. What? <laughs> oh, the fucking Hercules. No, that's super fucking This Hercules. is another one of the images. That was amazing. Where is it? Hippie. What happened? Hippie. Jesus. The, the, the one, one you were just on. on. Hips. Hippie. <laughs> oh, it's Hippie didn't Look take his medicine. Oh, that's crazy. That is insane. That's Apparently, like Super Pocket Hercules, right? Because that's not Pocket Hercules. Dude, no, there's a guy, there's like a bodybuilder. His name's Pocket Hercules, and he's like the smallest bodybuilder. No, I think that but is that Pocket Hercules. But that isn't Pocket Hercules. That's like Indian guy. St. Harris Glenn. St. Harris Glenn? St. Harris Glenn? That doesn't... Hair. Oh, St. Harris Glenn. St. Harris Glenn. That is Glenn's hair. It's Glenn's son. It's little buff hippie Glenn. <laughs> Glenn's like, fuck, like, fuck. I right. am so stoned. I don't even, <laughs> that guy was my brother. We, we got to show Eddie Murphy head. Do you have Eddie Murphy head? Dude, Eddie Murphy head. Diddly 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 now you think that's fake until you actually see the other picture. Where are the keys? They're all talking to me. They're saying I'm an asshole. <laughs> oh, oh hippie Glenn. Okay. This is so much well, more funny for the me. The other picture is of it actually what? parked and you can see the big head there. So it is real. What did that what is that? He just ejected something out of the side. What was that? <laughs> Oh, it's a ninja star. <laughs> it's got a lot of options. Um, so yes, <laughs> that would be a badass laptop. Slash you're like a, weapon. Yeah, you're like at a, a freaking airport and all of a sudden you're like, Oh, my nemesis. <laughs> 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 
He's like, yeah, he's a people mover. Do you, do you have the lighthouse candy? Last one, lighthouse candy. I know you grabbed this one. Why didn't you get all of them, Glenn? Here like, we go. Hippie, 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 Lighthouse hippie. candy. Nope, they're oh, playing. Seen that? That's Big Chair with oh, Percent. Seen that? Crab. That's real. There it is. Oh! Lighthouse candy. How does that There are small, circumcised lighthouses. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Seriously? How are you in a fucking meeting and nobody goes... <laughs> you know, these do look like cocks, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm cool that we're in Teague Island and we need to have lighthouses, but I'm just... I just mistakenly turned it and then I got offended. So... That's and I don't awesome. think I want to put it in my mouth. <laughs> like, right? Who makes that and goes, these look like lighthouses? Fuck everybody else. <laughs> well, first of all, they probably sold like 10X down in the like, right? Castro in San Francisco because they were... <laughs> no! No, 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 no. Who, no, no. Kevin? Boo, Do that is insensitive. That is insensitive. I have been in we these shops. They have cock gummy bears. Yeah, they but have those cock are ice cream. They have everything. You think I'm joking? Come on! <laughs> what? Because it's San Francisco, you walk through these neighborhoods and you see cock ice cream in the window. This is what we call backpedaling. No, no, no. I'm dead serious. Okay, it doesn't for taste those, anything like. I didn't eat a cock ice cream. I'm just like, they have cock ice cream. Listen, we're honestly, talking about chicken ice cream here, people. Let's be serious. We're talking about chicken flavored ice cream. Yes. That is not candy. my favorite candy. Light, I'm so getting you a bag of gummy bear lighthouses. <laughs> that, no. <clears throat> but thank you. You're welcome. All I right. like to give the gift of gummy. It's your, your turn for a story. <clears throat> oh, is it? All right, here we go. Next story. I love this story, by the way. Uh, pistol, oh, wait, uh, really? Every time? Do I say that every time? Yes. Okay. Nice so chant. A nice chant for... What's the clapping for? together and we're like, all right, about halfway before through. they come out, for no reason, we're just going to clap, don't, just go with it. And we're like, why? Don't care. Go with it. Right. And they'll be like, yeah, they like us. They don't. We're oh, like, whoa, thank no, you, don't. thank you. They don't. <laughs> big, rude, and big. No, I'm just kidding. We love clapping. You're up. Word of caution about this story. It's a cautionary tale. You got me worried now. I didn't know what story you picked. Yeah, all right, here we go. It's a cautionary tale about robbing old ladies. Everyone's done Pistol it. Pistol <laughs> Come on. How do you think I got the new laptop? <laughs> There's this woman from Asus, and I punched her in the boob. Uh, it's horrible. Asus is like watching that one. Like, ah, can we get that out of his lap now? Uh, <laughs> Pistol packing woman, 85, Forces intruder to call 911. Don't fuck with a granny. You got a Smith and Wesson. You don't do it. 3,606 people dug this story. Submitted by Vicky 3II. A, an 85-year-old woman boldly went for her gun and busted a would-be burglar inside her home, then forced him to call police while she kept him in her sights. Holy police shit. said, police said, I just walked right on past him into the bedroom, got my gun. Holy shit. Dude, awesome. Lady comes and grabs, grabs her gun, comes back and goes, uh, stop. Two, phone right next to you, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. 911, 911, not 411, I saw that. 911. <laughs> Lie down on the floor. No, you can talk that way. Lie down on the floor. I think you charge her at that point. I'm just, okay, let's play, let's play the other side of the house. What? First off, I, I don't 
don't think you charge anybody who's going like this with a gun. You go, aha. <laughs> I see you've Ooh, bested see. me in a combat of wits. <laughs> you brought your gun, I did not. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, although I've been thinking about this because I got, um, as uh, I'm sure anybody who's watched the show knows, a couple years ago for a wedding, uh, uh, a gift, a groomsman gift, I got a 357 Ruger revolver. <laughs> Which is sort of weird because I didn't think I'd be the kind of guy to buy a gun, but then having a gun, you I was like, I should buy more guns. Um, it, it's like tattoos in that way. Like, you get one you want, like, I more bet you and more. it is like yeah, tattoos, yeah, yeah. where you're like, oh man, that should say more than just mom. Let's get. The state Sleeve. of Illinois. Right. Um, <laughs> some people really love Illinois. Uh, but this is really cool. I mean, for, well, first off, gun control, hot button issue. Should you have, I'm still sort of on the fence. I don't know how I feel about it. Should you be able to have guns? Should you not have guns? If we take the guns away from everybody, then nobody has guns. Better way, place. But can you do that? And if somebody has a gun, then I want to have a gun. Because if right. I'm going to a gunfight, I'm going to bring it up. Right? Although, I will say. <laughs> Buddy of mine, and then I'll let you talk for a second. No, I'm, I'm curious about that. I've never heard you talk like this about guns. You're like, I should have ten guns, and I should have five, and should, you know, the ratio is imbalanced, and they should have more. So a friend of mine said that the best gun to own is a shotgun, <laughs> because you don't ever need to load a shotgun. So his buddy at, rents a guest house in the back of this like shady, shady ass neighborhood, what do you and mean he has you don't a, have to gun, load a shotgun, an empty shotgun next to his. Oh, uh, you just cock it. Yep, he said, anytime he hears anything in the hallway outside, he just grabs it, wakes up, points it at the hallway, and goes, <laughs> My buddy goes, if you are in a place that you do not belong, and you hear the universal symbol for, I just right. loaded my shotgun, You're right. you get the fuck out of that place. I thought... You could be high as a kite on the 4th of July, Shotgun! And I run. am out of there. <laughs> Even if I belong there and I hear a shotgun. <laughs> you're running out of you're your house. You're at somebody's party and they're like, yeah, I was great. Shh, oh fuck, I'm out of here. Because <laughs> somebody got drunk and picked up the empty shotgun. Right. And he's gonna hit people with it. You don't have a shotgun though. I don't. I was very I almost got one. What kind? Shotgun. <laughs> Manelli, I guess. No. No, Liza makes a great gun. <laughs> Dude, I will say though, I went, I went shooting with my buddy Jerry, and uh, we stopped off to get a gun safe because I was like, look, I got a gun, I got, I want to get a safe, I want to be, you know. That's good. Don't you legally have to have like a little thing through to the lock? I don't know what the laws are. <laughs> <laughs> but I swear to God, we walk in, we're like in Burbank. We walk into this like, it's like a strip mall, little gun shop. We open the door and. On the counter is this 50 caliber sniper rifle. It's like the fucking gun from a racer sitting on the counter. And this guy's like, Yeah, I can see why you're having a problem with the scope. And I was like, What the? Is that a tank? How is that even? I can, oh, I can actually buy that and have that in my house for. You're for security a gun, purposes. You are going to become a gun I think guy. I, could I can be a see gun it nut. now. Yes. I could be close to being a gun nut. Because I could be like, so, oh, somebody's you gotta coming. You've got to come to Vegas. And you put that on the bed, and you're like, In Vegas, you can the rent hallway. the full auto guns. Did you know that? You can get the full auto guns and See, rent them in I Vegas. I feel like that would hurt me more shooting it. Because what? I'd be like, throw on the ground. Oh, it's the fun. You get, to play, you get to shoot all the guns that you play in games. Like, you can shoot like an HK MP5. You can shoot like no. AR-15s. You can shoot like anything that you would have in a normal game. You can try and select fire. Three shots at once. BFG. Really? No, BFGs. BFG. <laughs> I was. I was thinking about rocket launcher. I was like, well, okay, you can't have automatics in California. I'll just get one that shoots a really big bullet. Right. You'd be like, I, I can't shoot twice. But the first one's going to get you. <laughs> yes. Which is horrible. But I feel great for this. I mean, like, first off, I will say, there have been a rash of armed burglaries in my neighborhood. Oh, no way. Yeah, right. Uh, like, right around my area in the last 10 days, there have been about eight. No way. Yeah, in the last 10 days, eight. And it's really crazy because I was like, oh, well, but it's like maybe at night or something. Like, I just won't go out at night. From 2 p.m. in the afternoon to 11 p.m. at night, they happened. I know. And it's really spooky, like to the point of. You need one of those stickers that's like, man, have gun inside or whatever they say. Like, I, you know, it's funny because the more I. What does it say? Protected by Glock. Yeah, there's other Protected ones. Protected by like, Glock. I like that. Have gun while traveling. Was uh, that a show? That's just, uh, 
That's a little ambiguous. It's like, but is it with you? <laughs> or is it not? Have gun, traveling. I'm like, I don't know what that means. Yeah, but it's really weird because it gets you to that thing where I'm like, I'm happy that I have it, but then I'm, but then I don't know. It's, well, it's first weird. of all, if they were armed robberies, you want a gun so you can shoot back. Exactly. If I go, if someone breaks into my house and I hear and they're like pointing a gun, I'm gonna dive and shoot at the same time. Uh, Max Payne has taught us a lot. I'm gonna hit slow mo. I'm gonna dive <laughs> over the couch. Take my time. Aim. You have to do that. Once and you don't good. stand there and shoot. I've tried that in Counter Strike, and they get killed like that. Dude, you I have to it. like. You have to be moving. Dude, okay. First of all, you play Call of Duty Four, right? Yes. You know what the worst, like the most? Yeah, it's a great. It's a great game. The most humbling thing in that game is the kill shot cam, right? Because I think I'm like the stealthiest guy. I'm like behind the <laughs> fucking bushes in a truck, and I'm like, nobody can see me. And all of a sudden I die, I'm like, oh, game's broken, game's broken, was hiding, that guy must have seen me because he looked at my screen. And then all of a sudden it shows him, and I'm like, <laughs> crouch, Turn. crouch, crouch, up. Cr up. <laughs> Aim down, aim down, aim down, headshot. And I'm like, really? I was that in the open. So two walls don't make a right. Uh, That's what I gotta say. That, the ones that kill me most are when I have a gun and I'm running at the person and then they like side yes. side me and like they knife me. It pisses me off when you get knifed. I love knifing people. That is the Sucks. best It's the part worst! Of I mean, it's the worst when it happens to you because right. you're like, but my gun was shooting you in the face. <laughs> it right <laughs> in the face. I saw bullets coming off of your face. And then you like slide like an Olympic skater and <laughs> stab me in the chest. What is that? It's terrible. Dude, uh, the, although it is the funniest thing when you watch somebody who isn't really good at games playing and they're, they're like reticles like all like this over around a guy who's like walking right at him. He's like bang, 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 bang. I shot him in the face. I was shooting him in the face. And you're like, bro, you were shooting plants next to him. Right. I know that you believe that at some point the reticle crossed his face and maybe you'd pulled the trigger. Oh, we gotta tell him what you got me into, game-wise. I'm starting an account. What? World of, World of Warcraft. I find, I Executives. Finally, I'm, Executives. Okay, okay. The people are booing, wait, 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 wait. people who quit, you're quitters. This is what I wanna know. I asked him, Dungeons and Dragons Online or World of Warcraft? First off, you crawl. can't just ask true to and let people yell. Wait, you wonder what they're crawl? saying. Crawl? 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 Is there an MMO crawl game? Somebody just yelled crawl. They're like, crawl! <laughs> Is that a game or no? Is no, that a game? It's just a guttural response to our comedy. So, so <laughs> Spore? Spore? Single player. Spore is not an MMO, people. Paper Mario, pencils! Paper Boy? I love Paperboy. I will be, kick some shit in Paperboy. Dude, multi, massively multiplayer online RPG Paperboy. <laughs> yes. You could have routes. You could like take over a stage. You have like all these Paperboys underneath you, and you make sure they collect the wages. So it's a, it's basically mafia with a Paperboy skin. <laughs> right, exactly. I made it up to dawn of the paper route. I was editor in chief of my weekly paper for a day. Yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. D&D Online, not so much. Right. I, I mean, I love the I'm gonna give it a it, shot, but... I'm gonna give WoW a shot. Let's see what's all about. Who's playing Warhammer? One guy is playing Warhammer. A couple guys. Electro Three. Somebody from Electronic Arts is like, oh shit. We're, I know, we're god damn it. Please don't say my name. <laughs> hey, Bill from Electronic Arts is here! <laughs> He's like, He's I'm not. not playing. All right, so what was the story? Oh, what was the, the grandma? The grandma. Grandmother that. shot somebody in the face. No, it didn't shoot. It could have. Was that the? Did you show me a picture of that? Because there was one really hot grandma that you should, not a hot grandma, but like a <laughs> not a hot grandma. Boy, do I not remember that picture? No, 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 no. no. It was like a grandma that you're like, if, if 40 years ago she was probably attractive. There's nothing wrong with thinking that. Not milk. That's bigger than a milk. That's like a. Milk. It's a gilf. It's a gilf. Is there such thing as a gilf? Gilf! Gilf, Gilf, Gilf! Oh, no, no. no, no, Gilf, come on. You guys! You're just starting the new Goatsy, that's what you're doing. <laughs> uh, no, uh, no picture. Nope. I guess that could be good. <laughs> All right. Then we don't have to worry about, is she bangable or not? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming to be 
be like, I don't know. What do maybe you, it was one of the photos that Hippie Glenn had taken. Like, it was, maybe it was from something else. Did you capture yeah. something of a Was it from Bernie grandma? Man? A nice Grammy from Bernie it was Man? some cute granny that you had. <laughs> He's like, let's not hey, fucking hippie, talk hippie's about like, this. like, I don't know. I don't know. I have a headset on. I can't. This is can't new. We should get Hippie that headset. That would be awesome. It looks so professional. Oh, uh, he does. <laughs> Truly is a love child, that hippie. All so, right. uh, if you're gonna knock over our grandmother's house, uh, make sure that she doesn't own a gun. There we go. Next story of the day, Microsoft enlists Seinfeld uh, and Gates to battle Get a Mac ads. So Seinfeld is now coming to battle Was it $10 Apple. million dollars that they paid him? 2,301 people just dug the story through my Mac bot. Who thinks that Seinfeld can like breathe some life into Microsoft? I think so. I think of all the people that are, first off, first off, before you go booing about, oh, Microsoft, blah, 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 get it, I get it. However, let's take that hat off and put the hat on, what can they do? Right? I don't know what you mean So by don't that. take the hat, you know, take the hat off of I hate them, I'm Mac, blah, and put the hat on of like, if I was running Microsoft, what do you do? You because don't they've get, been getting raked over the coals on these Mac You don't PCs. get Seinfeld. Yeah. You don't think it's Seinfeld? You get Jessica Biel to go up there and be all sexy and just be like, you know what I mean? Right? Yeah, if you're Microsoft, if Jessica Biel is up there like rubbing a laptop on her breast saying try Vista, I will fucking switch back. <laughs> if, am I, I can't wait to see that clip on YouTube. I mean, of you saying that, because hopefully she'll hear it and do it. Come on! <laughs> would you not? Would and you if not? you're Microsoft, pay her to do that. Exactly! Because have you seen that, that what is that Try Vista ad? It's like, try the universe and like, try Mo Mojave. No, that's the Mojave project. That's Mojave, yeah, else. Mojave. No, it's not. They're like, try Mojave, and they're like, we secretly take these 30 people trying Vista. They didn't know it was Vista. And the guy sits down, he's like, I fucking hate Vista. And then they're like, and they're like, try this. And he's like, oh, this is amazing. And they're like, it's Vista. He's like, shut the fuck up. He's like, I didn't know that shit was Vista. I'm like, that is bullshit. You know he's faking it. Those are actors. Am I not like, did you see this? I don't know, you're, but you're fo literally foaming at the mouth or so bad. <laughs> I'm spitting back. We're gonna have a spit off. I don't know. I'm just thinking there's better ways than to be like, we tricked you. Now we use Vista. Dude, there are tons of better ways, but they can't fucking figure it out. Jessica so Biel. Seinfeld is not. I, Jessica Biel rubbing her boob on it would be it. It's called Leopard. Superman. Hire Superman. Oh no, that's American Express ads. Very good ads he did. Very good ads. The American Express ads that he did. We're very good. I think that, uh, here's what I'm saying. All I'm getting down to is that Microsoft needs to get a little sexy, right? Apple, very sexy hardware, cool shit, right? Yep, yep. Um, Microsoft needs to have like a spokesperson that has some... Sex? No, Jesus. Dude, if I was, I'm telling you right now, if I was Microsoft, I would pay you to be the sp spokesman for Vista. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. How, well, there is a, there is a there point. There is not a number. There is a number. Dude, there's a, there's a number for me to fucking be Mr. McIntosh. <laughs> and it's probably not as high as you think. <laughs> Let's be clear. Capitalism is alive and well in all me, right, bro. All right, Bill Gates, call me, we'll talk. <laughs> Watch next week, I'm like, hello, brought you by Vista, my new laptop. I love this new OS. You know, I was surprised. I thought, I didn't realize it, and then they said it was Mojave, and I watched it. I was like, oh, it's really good. Surprisingly good. Did you hear they're bringing Clippy back in the next freaking version of Windows? Clippy. It's a rumor I heard. Oh, yeah. That's one of those bad rumors. That's just a rumor Look, I heard. They, it was so bad, they just turned I, us off. I, I they just totally, said, Nation, you're off. We're not even doing anything. I want to spread that rumor so bad that they're bringing Clippy back, so they have to put out like a press release. They're like, fucking Kevin Rose. Ah. <laughs> no, Clippy is not coming back. Clippy, was, Clippy could be pimp, actually, if they made him, they decked him out a little bit. You remember I'm just getting Clippy? drunk. We don't need to like, talk about Clippy. Do you want another beer? You need another beer. No. You need First another all, beer. Here we go. Whoa! OK, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie to you. I started doing Muay Thai kickboxing. <laughs> man, oh, man, 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 the stupidest thing I've ever you, done. Let me tell the story that you told me in the car about Muay Thai kickboxing. He's no. like, he's like, he's no, like, no, 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 come on, come on. You can't, I won't be able to train anymore. I won't be able to train anymore. Come on, she wants you. She doesn't want you. She doesn't want you. Shut up. I swear to God. So my calves. Oh, no, no. Dude, I won't be able to do it. I swear to God. 
I, I love you to death. Let me just say the part about you fired. wanting to, wanting to fight I harder. I will be fired. Oh, well, dude, that's easy. Okay, so say he's, this. He's, he's fighting this, what I would consider to be an attractive woman that I haven't yet seen. Yes. Um, based on the description I heard from him. Uh, because she has tattoos and all kinds of stuff. Um, but apparently... And she's a fighter. Apparently, she's like, okay, you have to go three minutes and you have to fight me. And she's like punching out to fight back, right? Well, I'm And he's out of steam at like a minute, but oh, he feels like a bitch if he's not going to keep fighting her. I will tell you, if you get a personal trainer out there as a guy, get a girl. Because you will work out more than you've ever fucking worked out in your life. Because you will be like, oh my god, I want to fucking stop so bad. And you're like, like look how fucking hard I can punch you. <laughs> and you're like, how, how did I do? He honestly told me, he's like, dude, I almost threw up afterwards uh, because I was just wanting to look really tough and hit her as hard as I could. You know what? It was a lot like the whole thing with Jessica Biel where I was like working out with like 10 pounds. Oh, uh, that's right. She's there and I was like, that. fuck, I wish this was heavier. Because <laughs> when people are like that, you're like, look at how good, look at that. Look what I'm doing. Do you see that? Oh, you're not even looking? I'm not even looking. <laughs> Bang. Oh, shit, I should have been looking. That's awesome. All right, so Microsoft, yes, Jessica the, Biel. Well, please. the answer to that whole crazy thing was I can barely stand up because my fucking legs hurt so bad. Anyway. Microsoft. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's thank some of the people that made this party. We got happen. one more story. Oh, let's do one more story. See, we're doing. We're All, right. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right. First off, Envision, Nvidia, Envision 08. Gotta love them. <laughs> what we do? What do? Make some friends. Make some friends. We obviously want to give a big thanks for being able to bring you a big mission here from Envision 08. For those of you under a rock, NVIDIA is the leading manufacturer of graphics processing technology for almost all classes of computers from small mobile devices such as this. Oh! <laughs> to workhorse desktop behemoths. As a leader and pioneer in visual computing, NVIDIA created Envision. It's a big and far reaching enough to have gathered the top visual crazy computing with this professionals, world class yeah, gamers, shit. innovative artists like ourselves. Designers, cutting edge researchers, what are, we, what are, you, are you just hanging out? Oh, yeah. Researchers and ideas, experiences and passion in the universe of visual computing. I think my, there it goes, my microphone's back. NVIDIA. So, <laughs> honestly, um, if you didn't get a chance to go to the conference, definitely check it out next year. It is uh, all things video and graphics related. It's pretty badass. Yeah, so, love it. Um, this is, this is going to be a cool why thing we have going uh, forward. Why don't uh, we give that one away? We are, but we're going to come up with something really cool. You mean rather than hitting somebody in the uh, head with it? Right. <laughs> what, what will you do that's cool? She, oh, wait. She said she'll do something I'm cool. I'm worried what she means by that. I know. I got, I got scared. <laughs> That legally we're not allowed to display that kind of behavior. What, what can we, who brought, who's wearing the most Dignation swag right now? We got we two. Got a, oh, we got two. Yeah, and a, it, uh, no, stickers don't count. Stickers don't count. You got a dig, but you don't have a shirt like, on. If you I have like a shirt on, then we got two. Do you have a shirt on? No, you don't have a shirt on. We got a lot of. All right, let's just throw it out in the audience. Yeah, what are you doing? Throw it out in the audience. There you go. No fighting. No fighting. Everyone. Whoever has the most fingers on it wins. Whoever has the most fingers on it is a judge. Okay, okay. Get the, a revision the three three judge. Come up. We're going to do a jump ball. We're going to do a jump ball. Jump ball. Jump ball. Let it, let it happen. Simmer good. Somebody got it. And only four eyes lost. It, it, it's, just, it's just a $500 video card and no reason to fight. Um, we are also going to be giving away $500 cash later. <laughs> no, it's not true. It's not true. I love the beer! Kevin said he didn't want to, so... He wants beer. No, he... <laughs> <laughs> um, we up. should have runner-up prizes for the other people. Runner-up Thank you. I love it. Runner-up prizes. Okay, so you were holding it, but you didn't get it. So... Here's a shirt. <laughs> We're like, dude, what? We should put, like, shirts about... inside of the graphic card boxes. Dude, like, it's, mystery, it's mystery bag. <laughs> Dude, it's mystery like, bag. The cards are really here. It's mystery bag or a neck. We used to do that. That was awesome. I love that nobody got that joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, couple people. One person. Right. That's right. There you go. Way back in the day. All right, you're up. He should have got the freaking video card. TSS H. Okay, we. In 2006, there were 13,470 people who died in alcohol impaired driving crashes. That's no bueno. 8,000. 
We took a eight, cab. 8,600, we did, we did take a cab, honestly. It's important. 8,615 people, uh, I was gonna say dug the story. Jesus. <laughs> Seriously, 8,615 people were drivers with blood alcohol concentration or BAC of 0.08 or higher. Um, alcohol affects the skills of those operating vehicles like motorcycles, balance and coordination. Um, so like us tonight, if you are ever going to go out and drink, please take a cab home. Um, that's what we're doing. Correct, correct, Kevin. very good. Well spoken, Kevin. Well spoken. Plus, your insurance goes to the roof, which sucks. I actually, I had a friend that got a DUI in Vegas, and he had to pay like three times the freaking normal insurance, which sucks ass. I mean, aside from like potentially killing other people, the whole insurance thing is real down there as well. Dude, sometimes it takes money to make people go, nah, not so much. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. All right. Go to edit.com, share any type of file with your friends on Facebook. What is this? On Facebook. Whether you're collaborating on group projects, backing up a file, sending a presentation, really, is this the right copy or am I fucking something up? <laughs> uh, sending a presentation, I sharing totally your latest that. music, all creations, go daddy file folder. Good, I was very scared there for a while. Makes it easy, you get one gigabyte of free space, password protection on your files, and more. Hello, so doing this. Simple search. File folder, oh, simply search, file folder. <laughs> I love it, like, simple search, I simple love simple search. search. My God, it's like simple chat. Uh, simply search file folder in Facebook applications directory or go to godaddywidgets.com for more information. Plus, act now, that's for you people, and take advantage of a limited time, 15%. Look how fucking small they made the text. I Peter, swear to God, I feel, does like, that shit. I feel like I'm taking an eye doctor's exam. It went from like eight point to like two point. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? 15% off any GoDaddy savings for Dignation viewers only. <laughs> to get your discount, simply visit GoDaddy's Facebook profile. He's not even kidding you. I can barely I read God, that shit. fucking stupid. Because there was like this nice paragraph, and I was like, read, 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 read. And all of a sudden, it was like, bing, beep, 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 beep. How many lines can you read? And I was like, what the fuck? That's some pregnant shit right there. Facebook profile and download the code from GoDaddy's file folder application. But hurry, the software ends. <laughs> that's, how, that's how good, that's how small the text was. It didn't even look like it was anything. Uh, file folder application. What did they show? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little concerned. It was you in a speedo, you didn't see it? <laughs> Curry, this offer ends 9.20.08. Honestly, um, this is something new from GoDaddy and it's pretty badass because there's always times when we want to be able to like share files with our friends and they're sure. giving you a gig of free Dude, storage uh, and space and it's all password protected so use it for trading things that you shouldn't. Yes. Wait, you, you said shouldn't. Should, you meant should. should. That you should. You meant That's what should. I meant should. I meant should. Not should. 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 Then Not should. should. You shouldn't have an index. Scam School! Um, yeah, Scam School! Scam School is the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. Host Brian Brushwood gives you an inside look at bar tricks, street cons, and scams. I actually watched the latest episode, which was pretty badass, when they show you how to turn the matches to, to make it into a fish so you can hit on girls. You know what I'm talking about? It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Anyway, wow. it's, what you I just said, said was, was really like, strange. Uh, what? Watch the episode, you know what I'm talking about. Scam School really is what, outside of Dignation, I think Scam School is my favorite show on, and Totally Rad Show. Like, ah! <laughs> I'm kidding! It's all right, I get it. I, there's only so much time in the day. I do watch it. I, I, I watch it for your movie reviews. Honestly, that's my favorite part. <laughs> Thank you. Pop Siren is awesome as well. Love it. Thank you, sirs. Wait, we got some, do we have, the, we got some TRG people here? There you go. We got some TRG uh, guild members in the audience, yes? All right, thank you. That was just, I was having a moment. All right. So that's it, Nick, last story. Last story, should movie theaters offer kid-free screenings? Yeah. 2,958 people dug the story submitted by J. Bull. FTA, what? For okay. The win. For no FTA. <laughs> I got you. For the I'm also. Getting, I'm getting drunk. Sorry. Okay, good. Keep Do you think well, that was weird? Take a Do you things ruin a movie more than, uh, more quickly than a theater full of talking, thrashing, howling, seat kicking, popcorn punching, pitching, pitching, pinching, punching? They're what? Not, popcorn not. pitching, pitching, kids. Oh. But is that enough to justify kid banned shows? As a parent, I want to say no. 
I am capable of deciding when I'm like, no! Don't you do that! God damn it! But, as a movie goer, uh, I'm capable of deciding when movies are appropriate for my kids and what times are appropriate for them to see them. So, this is from Wired Magazine, uh, a blog here. Uh, you know... You're getting drunk. I am, but I also agree. Yeah, it is a blog! It's from blog. It's from Wired. And, and I agree! No, I agree. I will say, when we, we saw 28 Weeks Later, which is a great movie, and there were these kids behind, like just like I don't even know. They're probably like middle school kids. You sound like old man Albrecht now. I was. I'm gonna put that. I was sitting down on my patio, and Get these guys arm. came out and I shot them with my fucking gun, and I went. And they were yelling. No, and it was crazy because it was like I was trying to watch this movie, and they were like talk, 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 talk and then getting texts and sending texts and all shit, and I was like. Really? How did you know they were sending texts? Because they kept going. <laughs> <laughs> tick, 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 tick. <laughs> you fuck you, dude. <laughs> dude, we all did. We still do that shit. That's I do. Us too. But we are adults. We should be allowed to do that. <laughs> So, I gotta tell you one thing that's cool about San Francisco. There is a movie theater that you can go and you can get beer and no, no, sit no. in the freaking seats and, and drink then, beer and in the theater. Go. Movie theater doesn't mean that, Kevin. <laughs> no. I'm just kidding. This is a normal movie theater. No, it's good, it's good. It's called, uh. Kabuki. Thank you, Kabuki. Oh, that's cool. We have the same arc light in, uh, in Hollywood, does. Plus 21 screenings, I'm, where they do the same thing. You can like go to the bar, hang out, and then go in and sit down with your with your beer. And so I have an idea for a new business. Do I want to make a movie theater where it's all comfy ass couches, like really deep couches, like one after another, right? Okay. Two, two or three people can sit in the seats. Pizza in the theater, so they just bring pizza straight up to you. Beer, open roof that retracts, it so you can in smoke in. Can you smoke in, in there? Portland? We, I mean, I'm just thinking, like, for a hippie, if the roof goes back, he can smoke in there while he's chilling. Ah, oh, like a bong ball. Hippie, Pineapple Express could be totally different for you this time around. <laughs> I'm just saying. I agree. Uh, Tropic Thunder, awesome. Who saw that shit? Which was better, Pineapple Express or Tropic Thunder? Tropic Thunder. Exactly, However, I thought the same shit. Pineapple Express is a close second. Although I will say, Jeff, uh, Jeffrey Kanata from Totally Rad Show totally nailed it. He said, Pineapple Express, more LPMs, laugh per minute, than Tropic Thunder. No, 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 no. no. Well, you, I have a theory why you didn't like it. But, uh, but Tropic Trust. Thunder overall, better movie, funnier movie. Why more laughs per minute? Step Brothers! Step Brothers was also very Step good. Brothers was better Step than, Brothers. than Pineapple Express. Well, yeah, I don't know about that. Step Brothers was Come a movie on, that I needed to let simmer. Shit. Step Brothers was like a stinky cheese. When I tasted it, I was like, fuck. <laughs> but then I went home and I was like, that may have been the best cheese I've ever had. <laughs> It's the fucking Catalina wine mixer, so. That's right. That is what it is. That was the best movie. I love it. That was so cool. All right, we've got anyway. videos from chicks to show. Oh, what? I love yes. that time. <laughs> Hippie! I love it! You got it? You got a capture? <laughs> email! <laughs> the email video. <laughs> That's uh, okay, it's okay. I love it's not. It's not his fault. I uh, know, it's all of our fault. It's the drugs, people. It's it the drugs fault. It's not his fault, it's the drugs. Okay, we can shoot this screen instead over here, Mr. Cameraman. Hey Alex and Kevin Lauren here. Oh shit, oh, oh shit, shit, oh shit. Pause, 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 pause. We can shoot this. Okay, here we go. And I can do a little audio action right up here, right next to her. Hold, Hold it, on. get your face out of the way. Uh, there you go. I look like a creepy person staring over her head. I'm like Wilson from next door. She's talking, she's talking now. Sorry. Let, let, it, let, it, let the humor settle. Let she's the humor talking. Settle. She's talking. I made a 90s joke. Wait, let me turn the volume up real quick. Hey, Alex and Kevin Lauren here. I just wanted to let you guys know that I love your show. I think you're freaking hilarious. You. And I want to thank you guys for featuring me on your live program in New York. So, oh, girl. Alex, I miss control all chicken. And Kevin, please grow your hair out. It looks much cuter that way. Hugs and kisses to you both. The Wee Fit Girl. The Wee Fit Girl! That's the Wee Fit Girl! The one that the did Wii that Fit shit girl, where she's like doing Wii. shit, you know what I'm talking about? How epic is that? That's the... Dude, what? 
she needs to come on the next live Dignation and demo the Wii Fit. Yes! Yes! We are so emailing her back. Why is Jay giving me this look like? That might not be legal. <laughs> no, he's going, please don't, don't let me be there, because shit's going down. That's what he's doing. Jay, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but how great is that? The freaking Wii. It's the Wii Fit Pro. You guys oh, are I not. Feel, I feel dirty now. God, I, I feel dirty about the things I thought about the Wii Fit girl. Now I know she's a person. Well, well, I, yeah, I know. Before, she was just a beautiful ass doing the fit thing. Yeah. And now she likes her show. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Although now I feel bad. I'm like, what did we say about her? <laughs> oh, I know what we said about her. Don't. That's true. That's true. I like it. I, I like do. that she liked it. So, we fit girl, thank you. And if you break up your boyfriend, contact us. Oh, uh, uh, there we go. Well, you know the email. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Attention, that's Kevin. Fun. Attention. Uh, Kevin. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Fucker. <laughs> if you'd like to send in an email or a video of you doing the Wii Fit, oh wait, that could be bad. Um, oh. I can just see like a bunch of our guy fans like, oh, I know how I'm going to get him. <laughs> video from the Wii Fit. And I'll be like, oh, this Honestly, is awesome. Listen, we should do that. If, like, if, 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 what? Hippie has to look through him. He's the one that has to go. We don't have to look at that shit. <laughs> He's like, please don't do it. Yeah, if you want to, send in some weird butt cheese swinging on a wee fit. We are going to get that now, and dude. And CC Hippie Glenn at gmail.com. <laughs> attention Glenn. Attention Glenn. Attention Glenn. Actually, attention uh, Ric Flair. <laughs> Hippie Glenn's, hippie get, Glenn's got a couple cute girls behind him. Look at them right there. Hey, yeah, that's hippie, right. Look Hello. It Hello, Hippie. Hello, Hippie Glenn's like, that's why I chose to sit here. I, uh, he is I single, I could have sat in the truck. Actually, I thought, what, is he? He's single and... What? I, I, is he? I always just say that. Oh. I was like, I was like, some stuff happened. I'm excited. Let's talk. I didn't. It didn't come out. It's all right. good. All right. <laughs> oh, shit balls. Well, if you'd like to send in an email, please feel free to do so. Well, you have an email. Fan. Oh, I have an email. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm worried that, that Hippie does. Do you have the, the Castro picture? Yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Does he have it? All right, here we go. So this is uh, an email. It says, Fidel Castro loves Dignation. Hey, guys. So I'm not actually <laughs> Fidel, but since I've grown my beard, I'm getting a lot of Castro comments. That dude looks like Castro. Dude, I want a beard. I want a beard so damn bad. Oh, I can't man. grow one, though. It's all thin and shit. It's terrible. I know. When I do a beard, I don't look like Castro. I look like Castro's like, I don't even know. If you put real grain on your face, does it... This is important. Some men, including myself, have thin beards sometimes. I don't think Rogaine on your face helps that. I tried it when I was younger, but only one time. I, I Maybe that's why your face is thinning. No, listen, I shit you not, a friend, when we were 16 years old, oh, no. we really wanted to grow goatees. You guys remember when goatees were cool? Yeah, I used to have one. And apologies to anybody out there that has a goatee. I have um, one. I have one back in like four, ten episodes ago or whatever. Wait, a hundred episodes ago. <laughs> No, but I had one. I was excited. So my friend put some shit on his face, and honestly, nothing happened except he had a mole, and the mole just fucking went crazy with hair. <laughs> Disgusting. It was fucking sick, man. And we, we, I used to tell him, I'm like, just comb that shit over, and it'll look like you have a goatee. <laughs> it's, it's so disgusting. I'm sure he loved you for that. His name is Joe Utley. Just had to say that. And now he's oh, that's awesome. Uh, so he said, I've attached a picture of me celebrating after the shoot. They shot a movie. Uh, they have a trailer attached, which I will watch later. I haven't, I don't, I mean, youtube.com slash watch slash fucking uvula dot one ECU. <laughs> well, is it like, you can't, well, if you have like a YouTube thing and you're like, well, yeah, just go see my YouTube thing. It's no, YouTube. No, just tell Hubie Glenn to sli slide up a lower third. He can do that shit. You're a magician? I got you. He can't do it right now, but he will do it in, like, in post. You can do that shit, right? <laughs> yeah, see? All right, it is starred. <laughs> so go watch uh, Castro's movie. Peace, Jesse. Thank you, Jesse. Peace. Nice. So that's it. Holy crap. Oh, Thank well, you for coming it. out. We really appreciate it. For this edition of the Nation, I'm Alex Albright. And I'm Kevin Rose. Until next time. Peace. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thanks, everybody.
Appreciate it. I think What are you drinking? I'm Brian Brushwood, and today we're going to learn a straight up old school bar con. Hey, let me go! This is going to help, help me get laid so much. That was a good one. That is a good one. Hello there, I'm Jeff Zimmerlin, one of the like 12 billion interns here at Revision 3 for the summer. And here's my Revision 3 back to school survival guide. Photoshop is a wonderful thing. You can do so much with it. Like take a picture of that other intern, Kelly Sutton, and put his head on the body of a man wearing a ridiculous costume, and then a scantily clad milkmaid or something like that. Or take a picture of Kelly and throw his head on the body of Princess Fiona, you know, the character from Kelly's favorite movie, Shrek. Or take a picture of Kelly and, well anyways, the only problem is that Photoshop and all the other programs in the Adobe Creative Suite cost so much money. You probably know you can save a lot of money by purchasing the academic version of the software, but did you know there's another way you can save even more money? Well there is, and it might just be enough to get you off that top ramen diet. I know it's grown on you, but you gotta quit it eventually. It's called the Student Licensing Option, or SLO for short. Here's how it works. Your school makes a deal with companies like Microsoft or Adobe, which allows them to sell software to you at prices that are far cheaper than the academically priced software. Let's take the Adobe Creative Suite Master Collection for example. It includes every software title Adobe makes from Photoshop to After Effects. The Master Collection usually retails for just under $2,500. That's a lot of money. The academic version is cheaper, but still pretty expensive at $1,000. But with the student licensing option, you can get the Adobe Creative Suite Master Collection for about $500. It's a pretty good deal considering it's a legitimate copy of all the programs Adobe makes for just under 500 bucks. Anyways, if you're interested in getting a legitimate copy of some of Adobe or Microsoft's products so you can avoid the classic LimeWire licensing option, then definitely check out the SLO because you can save a lot of money that way. That's my Revision 3 Back to School Intern Survival Guide brought to you by Jawbone. This little thing is small and easy to use, but best of all, it allows me to make phone calls without using my hands so I can continue to work. Plus, it cancels out the sound of Kelly constantly nagging me to film his good side. Now if you'll excuse me, I must get back to working on my adaptation of The Little Mermaid, featuring my arch nemesis, Kelly Sutton.